Hi friends, welcome back to Lost Without a Plan. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're planning the month of November in my social media planner, the Erin Condren Productivity Planner. And I have this kit called Colors of Auden from Planner Hate. So let's get started. Okay, I wanted to find some colors that match and I think I'm going to use these moxie markers here as several of the tones of the rainbow there match the colors in this kit. Now this kit did not have a monthly setup available so I just am makeshifting it with this thick washi at the top. I have the thick washi, the thin washi, and the sampler sheets here and the Erin Condren date headers, I believe. The brush strokes. And the brush stroke date headers. So I'm just going to put these up here on the top and then we will get to some date odds. So I am actually really excited for the month of November. We have a lot of fun things coming. November is the start of my favorite season, the holiday season. I know that technically I guess holiday season starts October 31st, <laughs> but I don't really decorate for Halloween very often. Um, Violet will buy a pumpkin and paint a pumpkin, but that's pretty much where that stops. But for November, I bring out all the fall fun decor and then of course start decorating for Christmas very shortly after that. <laughs> um, this year I did not end up putting up very much fall decor at all, so I think I'm just going to dive right into Christmas decorations. Usually I would decorate like the 12th, but this time I think I might decorate the first weekend of the month. So we will see how that works out. Okay, 30 days in November. Um, I think that I'm going to use these yellow brush strokes here for the videos that I have planned. Yellow is my favorite color, so I do love the little pop of color that's here. I'm going to use my red Moxie marker to write on these labels. I have all of my regular plan with me's, my monthly plan with me, my social media plan with me, and then we have my lineup, and then I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek at the advent calendars that I purchased. I'm not sure if I will be opening them for all of you to look over or if I will just show you what it looks like beforehand. If you could actually leave me a comment with what you prefer for the advent calendars, that would be super duper helpful. Next up we have the Wacky Holidays. So I have these ones here from Planner Kate. I purchased them at the beginning of the year and we're almost done with our holiday setup. We only have one more month left. So it looks like the first is called Author's Day. I'm going to have to reach out to my friend who wrote a book and give her a little congratulatory celebration day. Then Men Make Dinner Day and that happens all the time at my house so we probably won't be celebrating that. Sandwich Day, Common Sense Day. <laughs> we could all use a little bit more common sense in this world. Um, and then we have Redhead Day, Merlot Day, Tongue Twister Day. She sells seashells down by the seashore. <laughs> um, this one is Happy Hour Day. It's funny that it has a little clock little alarm clock for that because waking up is not a fun day. <laughs> World Kindness Day, National Pickle Day, Clean Your Fridge Day, Use Less Stuff Day. That's kind of fun. Then we have Take a Hike Day. Ooh, Play Monopoly. I definitely want to play Monopoly. That's going to happen. We are definitely playing Monopoly at my house. That's on Sunday the 19th. World Hello Day. Then we have Go for a Ride Day. Espresso Day. That sounds fun. 
National Day of Listening for Thanksgiving Day. I think that's because we should all be listening to our family members when they talk. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we want to block them out, right? Then we have Shopping Reminder Day for Black Friday, French Toast Day, Square Dance Day, and Computer Security Day. I think that's funny that it's right after Cyber Monday that we're checking our computer security. Probably should do that beforehand, right? <laughs> now I'm just gonna pull my monthly headers here. Um, I did find this one from Jackmo Blue. It's for a kit that we used last year and we have lots left. So I'm going to pull this lovely green from Jacquemo Blue. And then what am I gonna do over here? Bright and colorful, and cheerful. Okay, um, on this page right here, this is the habit tracker page where I keep track of the videos and all of the steps that I take to put them together. I did make this sticker sheet in on my silhouette machine. Um, and so I just took me a long time to size it. I think I, I'm pretty sure I printed it out like seven times to get the sizing right, but it worked out and now it fits this space good. I think I'm going to use the other part of this again here. And then I think I'm going to use these two sheets together to fill the rest of the space. And then I'll use this other piece up here for the to-do section. This is the part that I cut. Perfect. You wouldn't even know that that was two strips of paper. And then I'm going to put a label here for to-do and then here for ideas. And I'm gonna make this one say videos. Okay, and then on this page is where I keep track of all my videos. I'm just gonna use the washi strips across the top of each of these and then mark the different videos that I have. This is where I just write down the notes of like the supplies that I use so I have it for reference when I load up the videos to YouTube. And speaking of ways to organize your thoughts, as we all know, the holiday season kind of fills your brain with a bunch of different things. So I wanted to share with you guys my holiday planner. In inside you'll find worksheets and planning, planning worksheets for pretty much everything that you need for the holiday season, including Thanksgiving and like pajama, like a wardrobe planner, letters to Santa, planning out your holiday parties, planning out baking and crafting, all of the things that you need are in this 40 page document that you can download at the link below completely free of charge. And it's my gift to you for this holiday season. So I hope that you find it helpful. All right, I am liking how these little flags are looking up here. It's such a colorful kit. I just love how everything is working out. I did have an extra video this time, but since the lineup will all be in next month's page, it will not matter if I have a big space or not. And then on this page, this is where I kept track of my reels last month. Oh, I need to write in my videos over here first. Um, I like to put the date next to the check boxes so I know that I'm checking off the right one. Don't ask me why I need to know which one I'm checking off <laughs> because yes, I have done it wrong a couple of times, but it's okay. <laughs> and then after this, I'm going to use my markers here to just kind of signify them. Maybe it'll be easier to not check the wrong box with a little rainbow of colors. Plus, I think it looks really cute. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to lay this washi down here and that looks cute too. Um, I'm gonna do two of them. I'm gonna do one for Instagram and one for everything else. So I can notate if I use TikTok or Facebook or whatever. I'm not really fo focusing on them right now, but some things I do place on both just so I can be active on all of my platforms. And this is why it's so good to use a friction pen because if you mess up like I did, you can easily erase. <laughs> Let me just get my space cleaned up a little bit here and then we'll do a final flip through. I love this monthly page and how it came out with that November, this page with the rainbow, and this page with the rainbow banners, and of course this sheet here that's left over from my notes for my reels. 
Thank you so much for planning with me today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I will catch you next time. Have a great one.